not asking for a response yet, Mr. Brooks. I'm, what I'm asking you for is whether you have any requests for jury instructions or in your review you think anything needs to be changed, deleted, <coughs> added, etc. I know I'd ask that it be put in writing, but I'll also give you this opportunity to verbally advise the court and make your requests. Do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions, sir? I would note he put two boxes right in front of where he's seated, so I can't presently see his face. I see his jacket is off, so I can see the outline of his arms, and I can see the jacket on the back of his chair. Um, he is unmuted. I've confirmed previously regarding the audio working, and I will just ask him a second time, sir, do you have any requests as relates to the draft packet of jury instructions, whether that be any additions, corrections, edits, or deletions? And Your Honor, would it be possible for the bailiffs to just move the boxes off the table so yes, we can Yes, I think see? that's fair. I'm going to advise the bailiff to remove the box so I can see Mr. Brooks. I don't know what he's doing behind there. He has quieted down. He hasn't, I haven't heard him in a while. If you could move the second one because it can interfere with the microphone as well. And the third one. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to ask you for a third time. Do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? <coughs> any requests for instructions that aren't included that you believe should be included? Any edits or deletions from the packet that has been provided to you? Hey, why, why are you to move my because I couldn't see you, sir. Oh, um, I've asked you twice now, and I'll ask you a third time, do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? Any additions, deletions, edits, or otherwise? Hey, man, you, you don't got to talk to me like that. Do you have any requests? First of all, to first the, of all Related what? to the jury instructions, sir. Man, yeah, yeah I, got, I got requests. It ain't like they're going to be honored, though. Cause As it are, relates to the fun. jury instructions, you, sir, what are you? I heard what the hell you said, man. Well, Mr. Brooks, that was very disrespectful. Yeah, and, you, and I've been getting disrespected since the beginning of this whole process. So welcome to the club. Mr. Brooks, do you have any I'm requests? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of my wife being shot when I'm sitting here, too. I'm tired of it, too. Do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? I understand you may be upset, and I, I really do, no, but I've made my determination. You don't understand nothing. You don't understand anything, Your Honor. You don't. Because we are, I'm going to mute him again because he's not answering the questions that I'm very clearly asking him. And I've given him five opportunities. Mr. Brooks, do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? I'll unmute you for that answer. I can't hear anything you're saying. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to ask you I know the audio is turned up. I believe you can hear me. You've chosen not to put the headphones on. That's your choice. My final question to you, do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? I just told you, am I muted? Am I muted? No. I just told you, I don't know how many times, I can't hear everything you said. Then you should put the headphones what about that, on. Don't you understand? What about that? Don't you understand? If you see headphones, you can see everything. You can see boxes, but then you see headphones. Have you, you asked know. for headphones to be provided, <clears throat> sir? I should have to ask for them. I asked for my boxes to be moved. 
I believe they took them away previously because you were so agitated they were perhaps afraid you might break yeah, them. Yeah, I'm still agitated. I ain't gonna stop being agitated. That ain't gonna stop. You sit up here and do everything you're doing. And think you gonna and think God don't see what you're doing? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Mr. Brooks, do you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions? Yeah, I, I, I can hear what you're saying. I can hear what you're saying. You just told me you didn't. So which one is yeah, it? Yeah, I got the hair on. You can't see that? What are your requests as it relates? That? What are your requests as it relates to the jury instructions, sir? Man, don't don't try to come with this whole little image of uh, sir. Now it's all this sir and all this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get where I'm going. put on this little act like you so worried about what's going on with me. You don't give a damn. Never did. Mr. Brooks, you're being disrespectful again. You've been, you been being disrespectful. You've been being disrespectful. I need to know what your position is regarding the jury instructions. And I need to yeah. know it now. What you mean? Who you, who you, who you talking to? I'm talking to you. I need to know whether you have any requests as it relates to the jury instructions, sir. Yeah, first of all, first of all, first of all, why am I charged with two bail jumpings when I was already charged in Milwaukee for the same bail jumping? That's double jeopardy. That's not double jeopardy. Your objection is it noted. Is it's jeopardy. overruled. It, it is. It is double jeopardy. How are you going to charge me with the same charge that I'm already charged with? You can't do that. The Fifth Amendment says, the Fifth Amendment says, that you can't play somebody in jeopardy of life and limb. Twice. I'm already charged with the same count in Milwaukee this, for the same case. It's the same bail jumping charge. So how am I charged with that here? Sir, I'm not going to provide okay. a legal explanation other than to say I've reviewed okay. that. Okay. Your objection is noted. Um, but but the jury will be instructed regarding the bail jumping. They can't be because that's double jeopardy. Under the law, if, if, two, if two charges are identical in nature, you cannot, you cannot place me in jeopardy of life and limb twice. You can't do that. The what's your next? Case, the same case number. What's your, what's your, what's your requ next request, sir? I'm noting your objection. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to talk. Can I get it out? You always want me to not interrupt you, but you always find a way to talk over me. I understand your position. You I'm saying it's overruled. You always want respect. You always want respect, but don't want to get it. I'm charged with the same bail jumping charge here that I've already been charged with. That is double jeopardy. You can't charge me for the same exact bill jumping that I'm already charged with, that I was charged with before I even, before this even came about. Sir, the bail jumping charges in Waukesha County are based upon your violating your bail while in Waukesha County by driving through the Christmas parade and allegedly killing six people and injuring 61 others. Okay. Th that's the distinction. Again, again there's, there is no distinction. It's the same charge. It's the same it's offense. It doesn't mean it's the same it's factual basis, it's sir. He is not it charged is. with bail jumping with the data violation of November 21, 21 in Milwaukee County anywhere. Further, the double jeopardy prohibition would prevent him from being convicted twice, not charged twice. All right, so we've addressed that, sir. What's What other requests do you have as it relates to the jury instructions? No, I, I want to I know why I'm even charged twice with the same thing. You can't charge me in pursuant to a, a, a case in Milwaukee that I'm already charged with bail jumping for. I'm already charged with bail jumping for that already. 